Good evening, boys and girls. My name is Vanessa Holmes. I'm the principal of the Career and Technology Center, and I welcome you this evening to Sweet Dreams Sunday. Tonight, we'll be reading Dahlia's Wondrous Hair by Laura Lacamara. As Dahlia slept, cuddled in her mom's cool silken sheet, her hair was unfolding and growing. By the time the rooster crowed, her hair had grown straight up to the sky, tall and thick as a Cuban royal palm tree. Dahlia blinked her sleepy eyes, looked up at her hair and shouted, Mama, look, I, that's quite a head of hair you've got, her mom said. What are you going to do with it? Something big, thought Dahlia. Then as she looked out at the flowers blooming in her mom's garden, an idea sprouted inside her. Wait here, Mama, Dahlia said as she ran off into the forest. Dahlia adorned her hair with wild tamarind, kunti, and violet leaves, cradling the special ones in the palm of her hand and burying them deep in her hair. Dahlia ran back home calling, Mama, look, guess what kind of tree I am. When Dahlia ran past Senora Dominguez, bent over her broom, the old lady cried, your daughter is bringing the forest with her. Dahlia's mom looked up from her garden and replied, and what could be finer? Dahlia giggled and made her mama a crown with the fallen leaves. Now guess what kind of tree I am, mama? Hmm, let's see, her mama said, a leaf dropping hair tree. No, that's not it. Then Dahlia had a thought. Wait here, Mama, she said, and ran off to the marsh. Dahlia patted the cool, squishy mud into her hair. There, that ought to take place, she thought. Dahlia ran back to her Mama. On the way home, she met Senora Soledad, working in the sugarcane field with her twin girls, Lena and Nolly. I gasped Senora Soledad when she saw Dahlia. What a tall, filthy mess. Do you want me to take care of that? She offered, holding up her machete. Dahlia's mama overheard and dashed outside. No, thank you, Senora Soledad. My daughter's hair is just fine the way it is. Her nose crinkled at the swampy smell. You were saying, said Senora Soledad. Ay, Mira, look, cried Lena. There's something moving in there. Worms, yelled Nolly. They're not worms, Dahlia laughed and skipped away. That evening, Dahlia's mama said, are you a leaf-crusted mud tree? No, that's not it, mama, Dahlia giggled. Her mama sighed and handed Dahlia a bottle of her special moonflower shampoo. Maybe it's time, she said. Mama, no, not yet, begged Dahlia. Tomorrow, you can guess what kind of tree I am. All right, Dahlia, one more day, her mama said, holding her nose as she kissed her daughter goodnight. That night, as Dahlia slept, she sent something stirring and unfolding in her hair. By the time the rooster crowed, Dahlia ran out the door and shouted, hurry mama, it's time. As her mama stepped outside, so did the neighbors. You scared my chickens, squawked Senora Dominguez. You woke the twins, scolded Senora Soledad. But when Dahlia stood in the middle of the garden, the entire world got quiet. Ready, Mama? Dahlia whispered. Mama smiled and nodded. Clumps of dry mud and leaves fell to the ground as she finished peeling off her sheet. Dahlia's mama spotted the first butterfly as it wriggled its way out of Dahlia's hair and opened its wings. Mira, look, Mama gasped. Just then, another butterfly spread her wings, and another, and another. Soon the sky became a dazzling quilt of butterfly wings. Lifting her head up, Senora Dominguez stood taller than she had in years. As the twins ran around flapping their arms, Senora Soledad stood stunned by the wing pattern of the butterfly poised on her finger. Dahlia's mama turned to her daughter. You are my beautiful blossoming butterfly tree. 
You guessed, Dahlia hugged her mama, and they both laughed. As the butterflies danced in the garden, the neighbors huddled together and made plans for a spring picnic in honor of Dahlia and her wondrous hair. Dahlia's mama picked a white butterfly lily for Dahlia. Before putting the flower in her hair, Dahlia heard buzzing. As she watched a bee dine on the lily's nectar, Dahlia got another idea. Mama, she asked, do you like honey? And that was the end of our book. Thank you for listening and enjoying Sweet Dreams Sunday. We hope to see you next Sunday when we'll have another story for you. And we hope you have a great evening.